Hello there fellow community, I hope everyone is doing well. Today another video on this channel and it is regarding uh, using your tablet as an external monitor or extended monitor for your uh, computer, okay? First, this is not the perfect scenario that I'm talking here because uh, I have an external monitor already connected to a MacBook, okay? A cinema display connected to a MacBook. So I already have two displays if I want. But let's imagine I had only a laptop and I had the need to uh, have a second one. You know, let's imagine you have lots of things open and you want an ex uh, external uh, display to put, you know, your Twitter or, you know, your uh, Word document, whatever you want. Okay, so there is sometimes the need for that if you want, you have, you have a, a, a limited real estate, you know, um, laptop. Okay, so that's why there is an app and it is a free app. There are lots of options. Uh, but they are paid and some some of them costs costs uh, you know uh, twenty dollars twenty five thirty dollars but this one is free the only handicap is that uh, it's a non-intrusive uh, little banner of advertising okay but doesn't matter to me so guys without further ado uh, I'm going ahead to my screencast show you uh, the, the application, the website, and uh, you understand why I talked about tablet and computer. This is a multi-platform application and that's what's good about that. Let's go ahead to the screencast and I will show you what is required. Very well, so the steps that are required for you to have a extended or external display from your tablet. Let's go ahead to the site the website let's put this on full screen in order for everyone to see clearly uh, the name of the app is called we display wireless display extension for your computer okay regarding multi-platform you have ios so requires ios 5.1.1 or later you can use your first generation ipad if it is laying around to do that okay to have as an extended display this is very nice um, it is compatible of course you can use your iphone ipad and ipod touch and this is the link for the app store the android platform requires android um, 2.2 or later it is compatible with android phones and tablets okay uh, this is the link for the google store and then you have the windows uh, platform it requires windows 8.0 or later it is compatible with windows phones or windows tablets and here it's the link for your windows store forget about these two because uh, what you'll need after downloading from your app store google store or windows store for your tablet you'll need the hosts and this here the, this tab over here we display host is the host for your computer you have the links to this to download the the, the, the package for Mac it is required Mac OS 10.7 or later for Windows it is Windows 7 or later 64 bits or 32 bits okay so here are the links I will leave the link for this web page on the description of this video okay this is what you will need let's go ahead minimize this web page and i already have don't worry because i'll do a live demonstration with the external camera i have my ipad uh, connected via air server so this is the app that i've downloaded okay from the app store this is an iPad, okay, we display. Uh, one thing that I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting and when you click on we display on the, your app store, you will be directed to a paid app, okay? 
uh, of course they want you to buy uh, the paid one but there is a light version that's the, that's what i use and wh what you have to do is search we display lights and when you click it there is a free version okay you click download and you have a free version with the handicap that i referred the ad advertisement and of course the paid version will be a little more quicker okay no the lag will will not be so so intense but it works very well with the, with the light version and you will see of course not on the screencast but on the live de demo that i will make afterwards so guys this is it it's uh, what you have to write it's the we display light in order to be free okay so very well here i have the ipad now let's go ahead and the package that i've downloaded is this one we display hosts okay you have to click it it will appear on your menu bar over here Okay, searching for extended display. You have here all the instructions if you need it, but the only thing that you have to do is go to your iPad. I will click it with my finger here and it will appear this. Then go ahead to the menu bar. As you can see, it's already here. Connect, you can see it's uh, not showing anything because we are with video off we have to click video on and it's already on okay now for this screencast i'll go ahead and demonstrate it will be laggy because i'm making a screencast and everything i'll open my for example the the maps app and i will drag it to my ipad okay here it is of course, it's laggy. I'm making a screencast, but when we'll see the live demonstration, it will be not so laggy. So here you have the application open on your uh, Mac. You can go ahead, zoom and everything, interact. And uh, this is what you can do. You can do lots of things. See, you, I have the dock here if I want. If I don't want, I go to my Mac again. Here I am and I have here my dock. Okay, so this is what is required for you to um, uh, have this app working. I will finish here the air server. Okay, and uh, let's go ahead now to the real demo in order for me to show you uh, in a real demonstration of this application let's go ahead then to the live demo here we have uh, the same thing that we were watching on the screencast so iPad and my external display of course and open your we display host okay let's open it it will be on the menu bar, as I told you, searching for extended display. What you need to do is go to your Wii display light, click it. This is what appears, appeared on your computer, okay, the iPad, click connect. Don't forget to go to the icon and turn the video on. Click connect. And here we have okay so now we are in fact with extended uh, displays see the dock appeared here uh, but there is one thing on your system preferences you go to monitors and there is on displayment you put your iPad external in this case external iPad external display or extended display in this case is on my left you can put it on the top bottom or on your right whatever you want okay in this case is on my left and why not just let's drag system preferences to the iPad here it is okay on my iPad 
I'm with the mouse, okay? And let's go ahead and drag it once again to the main display. And let's go push this to the limits. Let's go to play a video and see the lag. Let's go to my channel. There are lots and lots for you non-subscribers and you guys that are watching. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, see all the tips and tricks that I have already posted on my on my channel. But uh, let's go ahead to uh, this last one. It's to print wireless from your iPhone. Uh, it's a tip. Uh, let's go ahead, click on the video. Okay, let's click pause and drag the window to our iPad. You have to drag it all the way in order to appear. Okay. Here we have the video and let's click play. And this is on full screen, guys. Eh? Uh, there is no lag, there is a little bit of lag, but not too much. The sound is coming from your normal speakers. If you can minimize, here is the page, okay? Let's go ahead and drag the window again to our main display. Now, to finalize, I told you about the maps and it was opened on the last on the screencast and it appeared immediately on my on my uh, ipad and okay let's drag it again and i told you that it's possible to interact you can go zoom see not too bad very well guys this is the tip that i had to to show you there are plenty more on my on my channel uh, let me grab the camera I will not stop I know it's not professional <laughs> but what the heck let me just point it right here guys this is again the app that I have that I have to show you today um, I tend to release for you new guys that are watching a video every day or every two days unless that is something that I cannot do of course uh, go ahead subscribe on that uh, on that red button um, to keep in touch with all the tips and tricks that uh, I release uh, on a regular schedule uh, click on the like button if you like this kind of, of videos uh, there is a little bell if you want to be notified for new videos that I launch and uh, I'll leave the link of also of my Twitter account if you want to follow me uh, I'll be glad if you if you do and uh, guys this is it i hope you like it and i will see you on the next one bye bye for now